We have all seen how well lobbing ad hominem attacks against fans offering constructive criticism in regards to an adaptation of a beloved property has worked in the past, and yet, fucking yet, Hollywood can't seem to learn a damn thing. Hello, this is Mara Jade, and I'm back with another video, and I have this post up from my friend Nick McCabe in regards to a picture going around Twitter of a screenshot of Morphid Clarks, a.k.a. Uh, Warrior Princess in name only Galadriel, and I don't even know if I'm pronouncing her first name correctly, and quite fucking frankly, I don't give a damn if I am or not. Point being, she posted this on her Instagram story stating, Anyone sending hate to my black castmates, get off my page, get off the internet, and shut up. We've all seen how well this works in the past. Now, excluding, excluding the genuine, extremely minute, fractionally so, examples of racism being lobbed at the black castmates, the vast majority of criticism of these black castmates has been in regards to lore accuracy with Tolkien and Middle Earth, as well as the lore and so forth, the foundation Tolkien sets. You're calling, as my, again, my friend Nick McCabe pointed out, an already highly diverse global fandom racist. You're calling an already globally diverse Fandom. 38 languages. That's what I believe the Lord of the Rings has been translated to. 38 fucking languages. It's pretty fucking diverse. But yet, yet, you're calling that fandom racist. And most times, whenever hate is brought up, it's constructive criticism. It's pointing out that there were no black elves, right? And the black actress playing Disa, who like, has to be a uh, cherry-picking uh, Thorin sister Dees from the Appendices, who's the only named female dwarf in the Appendices, which is what the showrunners have access to, wouldn't have existed, not only would not have existed in Moria, but... No beard. So we're pointing all this shit out, but yet we're racist. We're racist because we are protecting what Tolkien established. And what are we also seeing? Again, like I pointed out in my videos, get ready for this, folks. Get ready for this because now we are seeing articles like this from CBR.com. The Rings of Power will help evolve modern fantasy. Even though I have news for these fuckers, the father of modern fantasy is Tolkien. A lot of what we see today in other properties goes back to what Tolkien established. We would not have Game of Thrones. We would not have Wheel of Time. Hell, we would not even have fucking Harry Potter if not for Tolkien. I would argue that. He is the father of modern fantasy. And what reasons do they give for how it's going to help evolve modern fantasy? Well, guess what? Guess what? They're getting ready to call you all racist because here's one reason. One way the Rings of Power will help evolve the genre is by including a far more diverse cast. Because it's all about the superficial qualities, folks. Skin color, sex, and sexuality. That's all it is to these people. Just check off the fucking boxes and, hey, it's a diverse cast. Never mind thoughts, hopes, dreams, aspirations. Uh, you name it. Run the gamut of empath empathetical characters. Nope. It's all about what's on the outside to these people. That's what makes a cast diverse. Many times fantasy series and movies lock themselves in a box of the typical casting choices. This is defended by saying the source material was written long, long time ago or that's based in a geographical location, but that's no excuse to not evolve casting decisions. So they're basically saying in that sentence right there, this is defended by that sentence beginning with that, that we are all racist for daring to say no we would not have these characters because this is not what the original creator established. They are they are now in full fucking swing. So I can bet even money. They already have the article stating that we are racist or sexist already written. They are just waiting, waiting for the numbers to come out about how popular Rings of Power is when the season premiere happens. The series premiere, I should say, happens on September 2nd. Because they have five seasons planned out. Five seasons planned out. And according to the showrunners, they already know what the final scene is going to be. So they already have it pretty much planned up through the end shot of 
this series. But yet, we're racist. It says right here, that's no excuse not to evolve casting decisions. That's no excuse not to bastardize the lore established by Tolkien. That's no excuse. No, like, doesn't matter what characters he established. Doesn't matter what rules in the world building he established. None of that fucking matters because there's no excuse. No excuse. We are racist. Wheel of Time books... Wheel of Time, they bastardized that show to all fucking hell, or that series to all fucking hell, based on those books. I feel sorry for you fans out there. And they're saying, put bo both put women in the forefront of the story. The series gave a voice and a hero for strong, empower women. Yeah, because it's all based on the sex of the character. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter the inner qualities of said character. None of that matters to these fuckers. So many audiences members will know how Gladwell's story ends, so showing a different version of the character, different fucking version. They are literally saying it's a different version. It should be the same version. It should be the same version in terms of personality, in terms of hopes, dreams, and so forth. But they state right there, a different version of Gladriel. Is even involving the classic villains of the Lord of the Rings franchise. The show has made it known that it will also include female orcs. Yeah, no fucking shit, Sherlock. Orcs had to breed somehow. We know where orcs come from. They used to be elves. So guess fucking what? There'd be males and females. So you're not doing anything stunning and brave in Rings of Power by including female orcs. Including diversity in all aspects of the cast and of the show helps it make it more normal for the audience. Tolkien was already normal for the fandom already normal. Ever since the publication of The Hobbit. Ever since the publication of The Hobbit. 80 plus fucking years ago. It has been normal. Yep, there it is, folks. There it is. They are now just about in full swing calling fans racist. And that even goes back to like I said, Warrior Princess in name only Gladriel Morfred Clark. So please... Please keep opening your mouth. Please keep opening your mouth. You make it that much easier for people to say no to this shit. You make it that much easier for people to turn their backs on what Amazon is doing to Tolkien's Middle Earth. But what are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of Morfred Clark's Instagram post? Do you agree with her? Do you disagree with her? Like I said, excluding the extremely minute examples of genuine racism perhaps lobbed at the cast a lot. The vast majority of what I've seen has been just basically criticizing how they are adapting the characters and the tokenization of both canonical and non-canonical characters. That's what we've been criticizing, but yet, and yet, we're racist, we're sexist, we're misogynistic. I have internalized misogyny according to these fuckers, but what are you going to do? And look, and the already excuses are already coming out of the woodwork again, saying that Rings of Power will help evolve modern fantasy but yet, joke's on them. Tolkien is the father of modern fantasy. But what are your thoughts? Again, let me know down in the comments below. I'll be live on Twitch later on tonight. Jade underscore fire. As of now, going to go back into playing Metal Gear Solid 5. I'll be, if I play that game, I'll be cosplaying as quiet yet again. So, come check that out about 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Thereabouts. Again, Twitch is Jade underscore fire. I can't even with these people. But anyway, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. This is Mario Jade, catch you on the dark side, and fuck you, CBR.